Hello again, fellow crafters. Thanks for checking in for the second week of our creative bug crafting that I'm doing here at Hussey Mayfield Memorial Public Library. I am the teen and adult services librarian, Shelby, and I just wanted to bring something fun that everybody could do and show you this amazing free resource that we have access to. You may not have heard of Creative Bug, but it is something as a card holder that you have access to for free. It has tons of videos and things for all sorts of different craft ideas. Uh, I included instructions here on how to use it and access it. If you go to our website, go to our online resources, it is right there and all you do is put in your card number and you're good to go. So for this week I decided to do a wooden centerpiece. Uh, I think it's really fun and I added a little spin myself by making both sides, making it um, versatile. So even though the person did all, the person in the video did all the same things that I did and a little bit more, I did it on both sides. So that way if someone wanted to do chalkboard one day or use a colorful spring colors, they could do that. Because why waste the other side? So to do this craft, you actually don't need very much. This is, this is one of those crafts though where it might be expensive to start to get all of the things because you, you need a lot for it. But once, if you were to do this multiple times, you actually wouldn't need very much. So don't be alarmed if it costs you a little more. And if you have a lot of these things at home, it really wouldn't cost you much but the wooden board. Um, I luckily had a lot of these crafting things at home. Everything else I purchased from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, the one thing I will say is that the video called for spray mount and I could not find that at any craft store. I had never heard of it before. So if you can find that, yay raw for you. And you don't, um, I'm not gonna say you need it, but I will say that I think mine would have turned out better if I'd had it, although I'm still pleased with the final product. Um, I think whoever gets it will love it because we're raffling it off the Summer Reading Club prize. So for this particular project to do both sides, I found a stencil I really liked with some scrap paper. Then I had rose gold metallic paint to do the flowers with. I had a sealer spray so I could seal the top of it. You don't want to seal the chalkboard side of course, but you do want to seal the painted side. Um, it would be really hard to chip it or, or anything, but just, just to be safe I sealed it. And then um, I had chalkboard paint. And I took four different colors, so I have a variety of paints, and you'll see here in a little bit how I tested it, but these are the four colors I chose because I wanted to go um, summery and springy and have something that was really fun. Uh, I think this would be very versatile for, for a lot of different parties and seasons or table decorations. Uh, you also need your basics, painter's tape or washi tape or some kind of tape that you can create a line with, you know, gloves for spray paint and... Uh, I used a, a piece of cardboard to spray onto it just because I didn't want to, you know, spray the sidewalk, but um, paintbrushes, things like that. I also decided to go outdoors for this craft. Um, one, because it's safer and you're not breathing in all of the spray paint, but also because it was a pretty day. So I, I zeroed in a little bit more on these spray paints and things just so you could definitely see what I used. If you have questions, you can always shoot me an email at shelbycs at zionsvillelibrary.org. I'm happy to tell you what I used. Uh, so I had a variety of paints and you can just see where I... I kind of spray painted the rose gold over the colors. I painted a few lines of different colors I wanted to look at just to see what I would like. And that's how I chose the four colors that I did. You might already know what you want to use or you may not use as many or um, whatever you want to do. So this was just an extra step that I did to make myself feel better about my crafting. So for the first side, we're going to do the colorful side. This one was definitely the one that took the more work and the more time. Um, but it really didn't take that long. The, the entire craft took me less than two hours and a lot of that was just um, deciding how I wanted to design it and everything. Because the, the first step, as you can see here, is decide on your design. So at first I was going to do more of a stripe theme um, and I went back and forth on what I wanted to do and I kind of liked the geometric shapes. So I used my, my uh, painter's tape that was a little extra wide so I folded it and kind of made my design. Then I laid out what colors I wanted and where and then I started painting. So I, I painted each color at a time and I did opposite colors and I, I did have to reposition the tape and a few things like that, but for the most part it went well. Um, I included a couple pictures of something that's really important. You wanna definitely make sure you use downward strokes or the same, whatever direction you go, you wanna make sure you do all of it because it will show up in the paint when it dries if you kinda of just willy nilly drip paint all around it and you wanna make sure you have a nice even coat every time you do it. And I, I didn't necessarily have to paint any of them more than once to fill the board. It dried really quickly. But as you can see, there's little spots in the wood that I filled in. So um, I definitely went over them several times. I probably spent about 10 minutes on each, on each section painting it. 
Now, as you can tell, if you look really closely, I got pink paint on one side, so don't expect this to be perfect because mine was not. Uh, I did mess up the paint a little bit, but I was able to paint right over it, so it was no big deal. Uh, just need to pay more attention, which is okay. And as I went on, I kept painting each side until I got to the end. And as you can also see, I missed a spot. <laughs> so I went back in and fixed that as well. Very easy to do with tape, and I had to reposition the tape a lot. But for the most part, my lines were straight. They were a little blurry on some, but um, I could have pressed on the paper, painter's tape more. So make sure you do that. Finally, the spray painting did not take very long at all. The most important thing was just covering all of the board and, and figuring out what designs I wanted where. Um, it was really hard. Just like she says in the video, the, the color would attach to my, my gloves on the top. So there are some spots somewhere. But it overall turned out really nice. I, like I said, the spray the spray mount would have been nice to keep it flat because some of my designs bled through a little bit. And I had never used it before, so I never thought about it. But I definitely will invest in some when I can find it because I think that would have made this a 100% better craft. But overall, you can see where the spray paint lifted up. And I, and I sprayed over it three or four times, so I didn't just do one quick spray. I really, like, um, stayed about a half a foot away and I spray painted it really well and I held it down with my gloved hand. And I think it turned out really nice because you can see the finished product. So I was really happy with it. I think it will decorate up someone's house very, very nicely. I also make sure you add a clear coat. So I did seal it just to be sure. And that's what it looks like sealed. You can't even tell the difference. I couldn't tell the difference. Of course, we can't forget the code word for this particular project. It is flower. So make sure you come on to Summer Reading, get signed up, and put that in on the activities after you watch this video. Next, the chalkboard side. This was really easy. It took me less than five minutes, actually. Chalkboard paint is really great to work with. So all I did was just take some painter's tape around the edges, and, and there's no way to completely cover a wooden edge like that. So I just kind of, without going over the top so the paint wouldn't look even... I just kind of went around to make sure the, the, the majority of the, of the sides didn't get spray painted, and, and for the most part they didn't. And then I made sure, so I, I sprayed a couple coats and I could tell, I could still see the wood underneath. So I sprayed several coats, so I, not at all at the same time, but I made sure to layer it really, really thick. And that's why it's got that shiny effect, because I made sure to layer it until all of the grooves of the wood were filled up. Because when you put chalk on, you want to make sure you have a, a, a blank slate. So this is what it would look like as a blank slate. And with that craft, I have a colorful side. And if some days you're wanting to turn it over, you have a chalkboard side. So I think it will be a really fun craft. And it, honestly, I think this would be a great gift too, because you could do any designs, any colors, any themes. So thank you for joining us today and make sure you check out next week's craft. We'll be doing a chalkboard sign, which I'm really excited about. And be sure to go on to uh, Summer Reading and check out this because you can win this chalkboard piece and this, um, this wooden piece as a prize off Summer Reading. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.